This is going to be another video in my gang stalking series of videos, my investigation into gang stalking series. And this is going to be workplace mobbing. One of the things I noticed about the harassment on YouTube before I connected it to the community harassment, and that goes under community mobbing, which will be another video. Um, what I noticed is the more I dug into my former employer on Facebook, the more they dug into me on YouTube. And the reason they're so careful is they know they have to be careful to not allow me to know who they are because I've already gone to the, um, to the state representative about them, to the Commission on Mental Health about them, and things of that nature, about some of the things that they've done, including the way they've treated clients. And more recently what happened was I needed help, and because they were trusted, they're, they're trusted with federal money to help the homeless, they're the only organization in the whole area that can provide those services, they refused me services, and then when they offered me services, they made sure the only person that could render those services was a person that lied about me and spread rumors about me around work that ended up in my termination. Now, before my termination, and this is the thing with workplace mobbing, before my termination, they did everything they damn well could to make me as uncomfortable as possible to um, before... Um, they fired me. And what it was is they got very angry that they couldn't get me to quit. And that's, I think, what, what gets them about this, is they think they can get me to quit. But they don't understand. The problem with me is I just keep going. That's just my nature. I don't stop. I adapt and I keep going. Now, yeah, I had to make some concessions in my life and realize that where I'm at might be not the place I want to be, and this might be the place I'm at for the rest of my life, but it's a place that I have to accept as where I'm at. And that's fine with me. That's the whole thing. The fact of the matter is, though, now that I know that they brought my friend from Argentina into this, the one person that I cared about, that really has caused me to, I'm going to be amplifying this more and more and more and more just to let them know. And the one gentleman, I won't give his last name because that might be considered wrong, but his first name is Chris, the gentleman that got me fired. Now, I'm going to leave links to um, reviews, Google reviews, on this business. And you will see the honest reviews. There's two, two women in my, or two people and myself that give honest reviews. Then if you look at the third review from an obvious employee that is kissing major ass. I mean, she is very much so kissing ass, probably... But what's funny is the, the, the um, review is a few months old, so she probably doesn't even work there now because their retention of employees is quite low, unless she's related to or one of the executive staff. And that's the thing with this place, is the executive staff is all uh, pure nepotism, is how that place operates. And the childish games that they play is basically what's going on with this stuff here. That's why I keep telling people, you have to keep an eye out. Now, the thing is with gang stalking, they'll do something to trigger you that's geared toward you. So what it was with me most recently, as one of my commenters explained, that orderly Ted must have really did a number on you or something of that nature. Now, what's funny is they know that a fellow uh, co-worker of mine who did not like Pendel Mental Health and would bash the hell out of them with me in our private lives was an older gentleman named Ted. And um, he's unfortunately not deceased. But what was interesting is that orderly Ted, he, was, he worked as an orderly at a hospital, not, with, not one that I was in, but he worked as an orderly in a hospital many, many years ago. He was an older gentleman. And, see, the thing is, they'll plant things like that to get to you. M many years ago, what started all this was there was a person called Ice Queen, Your Worst Nightmare, was, um, who started this. They claimed to be a neuropsychiatrist that worked at Pendel Mental Health. And also, then they, then they stopped working at Pendel Mental Health. But they originally, and I don't even know if my friend from Argentina saw the comment, but they commented on one of her comments on one of my videos. It was just a a nice comment. Uh, my friend was telling me I made a nice video, but they said, stay away from him. He's a dangerous racist psycho. Okay. And that they knew this because they had been my supervisor at Pendel Mental Health. Well, the thing was, I immediately shot back and said, what do you mean? Then they took down their, con I, I started naming my supervisors and naming my coworkers. 
and they took down the comment and they said, I don't know you, I don't know what you're talking about, you're crazy. And that's the stuff that they do. They'll say things to try and get you to react like that. Now, the fact of the matter is, did they say, why is my friend from Argentina quiet? Is it because they said something? Quite possibly. What did they say? Who knows? It could have been anything. That's not the concern I have now. The concern I have now is making sure these people are going to um, be brought to justice by, basically by the means of reporting them to the IRS. And the other thing that's interesting is the gentleman that got me fired, uh, what was funny is, because I'm not crazy, I never really looked at the dude's uh, Facebook profile or anything like that because I don't care. I quit working with him. It's done and over with. You know what I mean? Well, apparently, he's also he's friends, personal friends, with the commissioner of the the county commissioner of mental health, which explains why he has his job. Which explains why, despite the number of times people complain about him sexually harassing them and behaving the way he does, he does not lose his job. And it, it's the nepotism that goes all the way from the top of the county down to low-level nonsense work like these people. And that's all for this video. But keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for things that you might be able to see that remind you of people that may perceive that you wronged them, even though they're probably the wrongdoers themselves. Because they're narcissists. That's what you have to keep in mind. These people are narcissists.